Hi, I'm Jesse. Hi, I'm Hawa. Together we are. Bonded for life. What are we talking about today, Hawa? Picture you going to a coffee shop and you see your best friend's man or your best friend's woman at the coffee shop cozying up against someone else that's not your best friend. Would you call your best friend and let them know? Or would you not? What kind of person are you? Are you the telling type or are you not? What are you, babe? I'm the telling type. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my boy, if somebody is cheating on him, I'm not gonna waste no time. I'm not gonna think about it and ponder it. I'm gonna go straight to him and I'm gonna let him know right then and there, look, you've been cheated on. I'm the telling type too. Believe me, I lost a couple of friends like that because I told on their significant other. Oh yeah, friends like you, who needs friends? Now studies show that if you tell, then you have put yourself in the disposable section of friendship. The disposable section, the column, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, you will be disposed as the friend. That's what the studies show because your friend will actually choose their significant other over you. Isn't that crazy? That's real crazy. Because all you're trying to do is just tell them what's going on. You got their back. I mean, I think everybody wants that. Some people think that they want a friend like that, but deep down inside, when it comes down to it, they don't really want that. They don't want honesty out of their friend. They want somebody to pacify them. They want somebody that is just gonna make them feel good at all times, even if it comes to bringing them some negative information. They're not receptive to that, and they may not even be ready for that, for that fact. Maybe even their ego is talking, because that ego doesn't want that other person to know that their relationship is not perfect or whatever the case, you know? But that's your friend. That's what a friend is supposed to do, right? Maybe it's that they don't want to lose whatever that toxic relationship is, because that's what they've been in, that's what they've grown accustomed to, and that's what they know. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. But if it was me and my friend did not let me know, that somebody was cheating on me, I'm exiting that friend out. Good riddance. You're not a friend. I want somebody who is a 100% friend, not somebody who's a sometimey friend. I need someone who's gonna have my back at all times. But then there are friends that will say, you know what, I will talk to that other person first because I don't wanna hurt my friend's feelings, right? And never mention anything to their friend. Is that a good friend too? That friend might have your interest at heart, mm -hmm. or maybe they just want to protect themselves because they're too cowardly to come out and tell you. No, I disagree. I think that's a good friend also because they're trying to protect your feelings also because they probably know that if they just come to you and tell you, hey, I just saw your dude or your woman with somebody else, then maybe that friend is like, well, did you walk up to them? Did you like oust them? You know, I'm like, no, I came to you first. Like, but why didn't you oust them? You saw them. I could see both sides. I personally would tell the friend first. I don't care about what the other person is doing because they're not my friend. They're my friends through my friend, you That's know? Right. So I would look out for my friend first and I would let them know. I would actually take a picture as proof, <laughs> you know? Because take, you know, a <laughs> take, take a picture and show them, like, look, look what I just saw. But at the same time, I kind of understand if, if someone came to me and said, hey, you know, I saw Jesse with some girl and they're cozying up, I want to see proof because I don't even know if you're just hating, you know? And if you show me proof, then there's nothing I can do about it because, you know, you showed it to me. But I can see how if that friend comes to you and tells you and then you're in one-on-one -on -one room with your significant other and that person is like, you know what, you know your friend, she's such a hater. You know, she doesn't even want us to be together. She's just making things up, you know, and all this stuff in your ear and then you let go of your friend that had your back but didn't have proof or whatever. Well, you know what? That's a very good thing that you just brought up because what that makes me think of is, is this a really close friend, an acquaintance, or an associate? Now, when we talk about really good friends, maybe a best friend, I'm gonna trust that person. You shouldn't have anybody in your circle who is a best friend or a really close friend who you can't trust. 
first and foremost. For me, if my best friend comes and tells me that somebody was cheating on me, for instance, Howard, if Howard was cheating on me, I would trust that person. I don't have but people in my circle. But what if that person's just hating? I do not have people <laughs> in my circle who I have to worry about their judgment, their character. Mm -hmm. I don't have people in my life like that. Right. So if that person came to me with some information like that, I would trust that person. Mm -hmm. But I still want to see proof though. Because what if you're just with that person and that's your long lost cousin and at that moment, you know, you guys are like hugging or she kissed you on the cheek or whatever, you know, and then your best friend walks into the coffee shop like, what the heck? You know, like, why is Jesse just kissing this girl? Like, and they're all hugging and touching each other saying, oh my God, I haven't seen you in such a long time. And you know, like <laughs> If you're being super intimate with a cousin, or no, friend. like, oh my God, oh my God. You know, like stuff like that. You know, and, and. At home, <laughs> wait a minute. Is that too close for comfort for you guys at home? Leave your comments <laughs> down below. Would you tell your friend or not? To tell or not to tell? I'm telling. I'm telling too. And if you don't tell me that you saw something inappropriate from my significant other and you're my friend, you are no longer my friend. For Just real. know that. That's it! You're out of here! It would eat me up. Just looking at you every day or talking to you every day and I don't tell you something that I saw, I would feel so guilty. What would you do? Comment below. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff. Yeah, what would you guys do at home? Think about it. Weigh how much of a friend that friend is to you if you can't come to them with information like that. If your friend comes up to you, don't discard them. You know, like, you can still make amends with your significant other and still have that person as a friend because that person is a real friend. Ride or die. You know, like, that is a real friend. You don't know how that makes them feel. Just telling you that because they are in a torn position too. They don't know if they tell you, you know, is that going to hurt your feelings? That's right. You know, and they're going to be blacklisted by your significant other just by them telling you this. So don't discard that friend. That friend is a true friend. We do that too often today. You don't discard good people. You don't discard people who show that they're loyal to you. You don't discard people who show that they care about you. You know that song, Friends? How many of us have them? I have a very few. Most of my friends are family members because I can trust them and I can depend on them. So when you get good people in your life, don't discard them. They're not disposable. A real friend is supposed to tell you these things, those uncomfortable truths that you need to hear. A real friend is supposed to be there regardless. A real friend is gonna say, hey, you know, I saw this. I want you to know about it. That's a real friend to me, so I would tell. Now run, go tell that. <laughs> Once again, you guys, I'm Jesse. I'm Howard. Together we are. Bonded for life. Over and out, people.